101 ESPN. It's really good to see you. Uh, congratulations on your uh, your contract and you know, your one year deal with a nice little kick up in in the monetary value there. And Thank you, I appreciate it. And your your career's off to uh, your career's really rolling now. What do you? Uh, what do you hope to do better this year? You know, I'm, I'm, it's funny because you look at the end of the last year, you look at your numbers, your numbers were, re- were pretty darn good. Very good, actually. 97 runs batted in. But I know you thought maybe you could do better, and you're working on some things better. Tell us what the what the objectives are and how you're going to get there. You know, I look back on it, and I missed probably, uh, I don't know, about three to four weeks of the season, you know, whether it was due to the injury or, you know, um, not being in there certain days. But, um I think I think the the thing for me is consistency. You know, um, I feel like if I'm if, I, if I'm consistent, you know, I can put up um, num- numbers more like 08. I'm not saying I'm going to put up 08 numbers, um, but I, I definitely felt like last year was kind of a, a somewhat of a down year. I, I know I could do better, and and um, there were times where you know I was struggling and um, mentally I probably wasn't into it as much as I needed to be and and I think uh, I can learn from that and get better and and um, move forward and and I mean in, in my opinion you're always you're always learning in this game uh, as old as you get Cardinals outfielder Ryan Ludwig with us here on 101 ESPN go ahead Brian okay. just going to say working with Mark McGuire here what kind what type of things has he uh, been you know trying to change with you or work on differently or what trying to pro on with him you know I think I think the main thing uh, you know he kind of broke me down last year um, I tend to get lazy with my backside sometimes and you know I don't I don't cover the ball stay on top of the ball and you know when I start doing that it results in a lot more pop flies um, I think the previous year 08 uh, I was more of a line drive hitter um, had a lot more doubles so that's kind of my focus this year you know trying to stay gap to gap and stay stay on a line you know I, I, I just feel like uh, I don't know how many doubles I had last year. I think I had, you know, right at 20 or just over 20. But, you know, I definitely think I'm, I'm capable of, of being better than that. And I, I heard you talking to some other guys earlier. McGuire thought that he noticed that your swing had gotten a little loopy. Is that the word he yes. used? Yeah. yeah. So tell us about that. What it, it, By the way, that sounds really encouraging that the new hitting coach is finding things and already helping you guys but so talk about the loopy swing also talk about mcguire as a hitting coach already what your impressions are well you know i told him last year um at times after the hamstring injury i didn't feel super strong um it was it was tough to regain strength because you're playing every day and um i felt at times i got weak on that back side and that resulted me to collapse a little bit and um you know, this year I feel stronger. I had a couple couple days to work with him up there in Austin. He came up and saw me and Matt, and, you know, he, he told me one thing that just clicked. Uh, you know, the ball away I've been real good on um, th- this this pass off season, but, you know, the ball in, you know, sometimes I try to clear my front side to get to it, and he just really talked to me about, you know, keeping my hands above the ball and really attacking with the knob of the bat straight down to the baseball, and, and you know, that kind of lets your body clear itself, and, you know, took about five five swings and it just clicked and I've been down here and it's just uh it's 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 feeling good you know I'm on top of the ball I feel like I'm over the ball I'm covering the ball I'm short to it long through it and and uh I feel good so he's off to a good start as a hitting coach that guy's taken to him you know yeah he's he's uh you know off the field too he's 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 a great guy he's uh he's a good human being and um you know he's he's really good at breaking down swings visually and and He's not coming here trying to reinvent the wheel. Um, he's uh, extremely positive and mentally, um, you know, I had heard that he's one of the best ever, you know, the way he prepares before the game. And, and I feel like I have a lot to learn from him in that aspect too. So I'm excited about the opportunity. Cardinals outfielder Ryan Ludwig joining us here on the Bernie Show on 101 ESPN. I understand yesterday was the, the official pre-camp meeting, and for the first time Tony had some players speak up and you were one of them. What was your message to the team inside the, uh, the clubhouse yesterday? You know, first of all, I was honored to even, you know, be in that position. You know, I, I keep thinking back. It was just four years ago I was coming to camp, and, you know, I was just trying to get back to this level, and it's just been kind of a it's – it's been a fun ride, a good ride. You know, I'm definitely not comfortable. I'm still trying to get after it. But, you know, I just spoke about when I came over here. It was my fifth organization, and, you know, just the way uh, from top to bottom, from the coaching staff all the way down to the players, uh, especially the superstar type, type caliber players, you know, um, the way people go about their business around here, it's uh, it's it's intense. It's with a purpose. Uh, there's not a lot of, you know, wasted time. And, and people, you know, they're doing what they need to do. And you really see it carry through spring. And since I've been here, it carries through into the, 
the month of April, and, and I think it's important that, that that happens because, you know, that that first month can be key. You know, uh, you, you find yourself in the tank uh, 15 games into the season, you know, whatever it might be, 3-12, and 12, it's, it's, it's tough. So, um, you know, I feel like every game, so, you know, when games start down spring, we're not here just to work on stuff. We're here to win. Ryan Ludwig with this Cardinals right fielder on 101 ESPN. Um, how do you think Colby Rasmus will do um, the difference between being a rookie, learning the league a little bit in his second year? Do you see any changes in him? Do you? What, what's your forecast for him? Well, you know, um, I definitely can tell he's he's more relaxed. He knows what to expect more. You know, um, and um, I'm not I'm not the manager. Or the you know the the front office, but I feel like the situation he's coming into this year is a little bit different. You know, obviously uh, Rick's gone, and then uh, Rasmus is kind of the guy now. He's young. He's got a year of experience, and, you know, he's been groomed for this for a long time in this organization, and uh, I have no doubt he's going to step up to the plate. You know, there's still going to be some learning curves. He's still a young kid, but there's uh, definitely the ability and the talent there to, you know, be very successful at this level. Do you enjoy certain days that he would get off and you might get to play center field? I know it was a couple of days that you played center last year. You were pretty excited. Yeah, I, I, I really do like getting out there. It's fun, <laughs> but uh, I'm not. I, I definitely am not the same center fielder I was when I was 23 years old before, you know, all what, my What, are you injuries. saying you're old? No, I'm just I'm a step <laughs> slower, you know. I'm a little bit bigger now. Um, and it, believe it or not, it's it, each position's different. You know, you play a lot of a lot of games in the right field. You go to center or left. There's a definite adjustment because you get used to the way the ball's breaking off the bat, your jumps. And it always go goes to, away from you, right? Yeah, so you yeah. get you get into center field, and it's just, you know, it's it's a little bit foreign at times. But you know, I I, I, I definitely think I can do it at times. And you know, I'm I'm not I'm not going to be Colby out there, that's for sure. But uh, you know, I'm going to play. I'm going to play as hard as I can and try to get it done. The way the season ended last year, I mean, it was a it was a heck heck of a year in many regards. But nobody wants to go out three straight in the playoffs. I mean, I I don't know that you guys really need any motivation. Not with, not with the first baseman you have and the manager you have and the way those guys push. But uh, maybe maybe just maybe it gave you just a little extra something coming into camp this year. I mean, what kind of year you think the ball club's going to have? And did did the way it ended? Did it does it do anything shaping your attitude this year a little bit? Well, you know. Um I think if it, if it would have ended good or bad, um, I think you look at the the type of players that are in this clubhouse. Um, like you said, you know, from the top, the manager, all the way down to you know, you know, the big guy at first base, and and you know, the guys you can say are the guys who fill in. Um, people people want to win, and and um, I think, like I said, that's the attitude. We get down here, we want to win. You know, obviously it leaves a sour taste in your mouth, but now it's 2010. For me, it was my first experience in the playoffs, and I want to build on that and and uh, obviously make a, a further push into the, the postseason. We're just about out of time. You I got think one that's more? Right. Why, don't you, why don't you go one more? One more? Cardinals yeah, outfielder yeah. Ryan Ludwig joining us here on uh, 101 See, ESPN. See, we're breaking the rules for you, man. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Honored. Um, I mean, I guess just as far as this, this team goes for this year, the pieces are in place. You know, I, there was there was the uncertainty with, okay, is Tony going to retire? Is, is Duncan going to leave? Is, is Matt Holiday not going to be back? Knowing that the chance here, right here, right now, the way that the division is kind of set up, are you guys, is it World Series? Is that what is on the mind for this team right now? Uh, I think um, on paper we look really, really good. Um, we do have to play 162 right. games. Right. Um Last year, obviously, the Cubs were heavy favorites, uh, and, and they didn't get to where a lot of people thought they would be. Um, I think people are going to you know, strive to get to that level. I think that's where we want to be, but um, I think you got to focus one game at a time, you know, one series at a time. You know, Last year, we kind of took that mentality of winning each series, and you know, we got to the last month of the season, and we were in a really good position. So if we kind of you know, worry about you know, one game at a time, one series at a time, I think uh, at the end of the season, if everyone's into it mentally, I think we're going to be in a really good position. Thank you very much, Ryan. Thanks, Thanks for having me on, fellas. That's, good that's seeing Ryan you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Great seeing you. That's Ryan Ludwig getting us started today on the Bernie Miklas Show with Brian Feldman here on 101 ESPN.